All right, once we have all of our walls done in the house, first and second floor, uh, there are a couple things you want to do to prepare for furnishing the house as well as painting the walls. Uh, this one we're just going to take a look at, at putting some furniture in. Um, first of all, you may want to ignore what I did there. Um, you may want to take all of the interior walls first and group them. So now that I have all the interior walls done here, I want to make the interior walls a group. So I am going to triple click those and two finger click, make those a group. Then holding the shift key, I want to select the walls and I want to select the floor. And again, two finger click, make that a group. So essentially what I've just done is I've got three groups here. I have the floor, which we grouped a long time ago. I've got the exterior walls, which we grouped a long time ago. And now I have the interior walls as a group. And I've taken all three of those groups and made it one big group. Okay. What that's going to allow me to do is to take the first, or sorry, let's take the second floor and slide it away from the first floor. And now I can get access to the first floor to start putting some furniture in the first floor. Okay, The first floor, we did that same thing. We grouped the walls, all the exterior walls, the floor. So it's a group now. And the second floor is a group. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and save that as it is. And now before dropping in any furniture, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do a save as, and we're going to call this one furnished, F-U-R-N-I-S-H-E-D. That way, we're going to make sure that we have a copy of the house uh, without any furniture, so that if we needed to go back or something gets lost or anything like that, then we are going to be able to reopen that copy and, and possibly uh, start from that point again if, if we felt we needed to. Okay. All right, so now I'm working on the furnished file. All right. And uh, it doesn't really matter where you start furnishing things. You can do the first floor, you can do the second floor. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, I just want to show you where to get the stuff, and then you can do as much of this furnishing as you want. Over here on the right side of the screen, third tool down is called Components. When you go into Components, um, Home is an option, okay? And you can see that uh, this guy was in here, the staircase, we had some other staircases in here. But if you click on this right here, okay, you can search the 3D warehouse. All right. So I'm going to do bedroom. Okay. And when I type that, all kinds of models of different bedroom furniture come in here. All right. Well, I was planning on doing the first floor. So I'm going to switch that search to, um, oh, I don't know. Let me do a desk. For my office. So I'll type in desk and now we got all kinds of different models of desks. Okay, So I'm going to select this one right here, inserting model, and now when I move my mouse around it inserts the model and I'm going to drop it right there. Okay, This is very similar to the steps where when you're moving these things around you really want to make sure that you're on the face and then move them one direction at a time. Okay, I'm going to orbit this. All right, I see it's on the floor. Uh, I think I want to put this desk against a wall. So I will move it from this back edge, make sure I go straight on green axis until I'm against the wall. Okay. And then if I wanted to move it left or right, I could grab it 
and make sure that I just go straight left or right. Okay, I can come back over here, type couch, and I think I want a couch in my office. Let's see here. Find anything I like, do the next page. Mm. Let's see, this one looks kind of cool. So I'm just going to drop it, gonna spin this, I'm not sure this couch is to scale to be honest with you, um, it looks kind of big. Uh, if it is too big as, as this one is, uh, essentially what that means is whoever drew that couch really didn't pay attention to scale. Okay, a couch is typically about eight feet long. Uh, this particular couch is drawn at almost 13 feet long. So it's definitely not to scale. Uh, I'm probably just gonna delete that and I would choose a different couch, okay? But the point is, is there is this place over here called the 3D Warehouse. Okay, It is found by going into the Components tool, clicking on this option right here where it says Search 3D Warehouse. Search what you're looking for, insert it, put it in the model, and I do suggest saving as you go. Okay, These models can be pretty big when you're bringing them in. It is likely going to slow down uh, the performance of your model as you're doing this. Just be aware of that. Okay, That's why I had you save a copy called Furnished. Uh, that way you have um, kind of, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of saved or preserved is the word I'm looking for. You preserved the house unfurnished. Uh, that way if anything strange were to happen using this 3D warehouse stuff, um, you've still at least got that. Okay, So, um, furnish your house, have fun, enjoy it, um, and in the next model, once we get it furnished in the next video, um, I'll show you how to paint the walls and put different flooring uh, in the house.